Just as it had looked like Phoenix had taken some life away. Oh, and Tarasi is going to get the whistle here. Not to say Vivian's injecting some energy mm. right back into it. But Tarasi is fouled on a three-point shot. And that's McCowan coming out there, obviously not where she is normally accustomed to. I think once also when she left her feet and had a slight forward momentum, um, that's normally going to go against the defensive player as well. And Diana's a very crafty player. She saw that and obviously initiated contact as well. And Tarasi, who missed a pair early in the game, that happens very rarely knocks down all three and puts the mercury well everyone was just standing around waiting just wondering what Tierra was going to do was she going to make a move herself but good patience in the end Kelsey Mitchell just making a great cut and what a finish Tarasi oh. off balance McCowan pulls down the rebound and Tarasi is hurts oh, this is not what you want to see for any player but just with the injuries that Diana's had to deal with this season alone. And her ability to overcome those injuries. She has been playing so well. Mm -hmm. She missed nine games with a sternum injury. Three with a hip injury. And those Tarasi free throws right now are the difference in this game. in year 17 at age 39. You would never know that watching her play. Well, good to see her get up and on her own power here as Danielle Robinson has come out and certainly love to see a smile there from Tarasi as who oh, turned that left ankle. Yes. Came down on Mitch's foot. But she's off on her own power. Mm -hmm. Surprised if she came back tonight, but there is a bigger picture in mind for that group from Phoenix. Looking to mount an improbable comeback. They've trailed by 18 points in the second half. And a three could tie it here with 30 seconds to play. Mitchell over Griner. Well, she tied the game with a similar shot over Ogumake. That is a different task. Trying to go over 6'9", Griner. That shot was on target, just left it a little short. Mitchell's been excellent, 23 points here tonight. And what has been a continuing trend of her play improving as the season has gone on. Did we get a double technical Looks like here? we're getting some T's dished out. Maybe Big T is going to be in on the end of one of them. There was a lot of chatter. And we heard... Michael Price say, I got both of them. Cowan getting tangled up there underneath. And goodness, Tarasi is back in the game. She That's is, unbelievable. Yes, that, yeah. Some words being had. Diana saying a few words, so she may be the recipient of the other one as you see them have a little chat with each other there. And that is who those seconds well, are on. Big T ain't, uh, ain't scared going up against Diana, one of the best talkers on the court. So double technicals is the call. And that is the fifth foul on McCowan. Now, you don't expect that to come into play with just 21 seconds left, but should this game go to overtime? McCowan, who played 16 minutes on Saturday against Phoenix, has played 35 here tonight. They are checking who touched that last and a big possession decision is upcoming here. You can see the call on the floor is Phoenix ball. Do you have enough to overturn this? That looked to me like it maybe was off of McCowan. They took a long time to look at that. Mm -hmm. Now they could have been looking at some of the extracurricular as well.
taking a timeout. And it's tough to tell. We here, due to COVID precautions, are up at the top of the arena and oftentimes yeah. things that you can hear and get info on at the scores table is just hard to get a grip on up here. But as of right now, it doesn't look like a whole lot has changed. Mitchell over to Allen, who steps into a three. That won't go. And time runs out on a fever comeback. Indiana trailed by 18 in the second half. They're going to get a nice ovation here from their fans to battle all the way back to within three. It was quite the comeback for the fever, but it falls short as Diana Taurasi and the Phoenix Mercury earn their ninth consecutive victory. And it is the second longest winning streak in franchise history as Tierra McCowan and Diana Taurasi still sharing words on their way out. But it is the Mercury who moved to 18 and 10 as Indiana's comeback comes up just a bit short.